Hey, thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you a little bit about eyelet cutters. A lot of you asked me about these little detailed tools and how to use them. Where are they best used on a cake? So I'm going to show you a little bit about how they work. Um, today I'm going to use a couple different ones. I'm going to use this three section eyelet cutter and the one section eyelet cutter. They come in all different kinds. Some are square. Different sets are available. You can buy them individually as well. Today I'm just going to use these two and show you just a little strip. Now this is a little bit of a gum paste mixture. It's mostly fondant. I just add a little bit of Tylos powder and that helps it keep from distorting and stretching after you've cut it out when you move it. So I just kind of did the scalloped edge cutter with my double frill cutter and then I went ahead and did a couple of cuts ahead of time and let me do a few more here. So I'm just going to basically push down. I want to make sure I have a nice firm surface underneath it. And it's really important to have a scriber tool to go ahead and get those pieces out. They might also stick down in here on what you're working on and that's fine as well. Actually it's a little bit easier to get it out of here than it is out of the cutter itself. But it's really important not to let those build up and not to let them dry in there. So you really want to make sure you remove those sections as soon as you cut them out. So over here I've got a cake that I've already did in pink so that some color can show behind there. And remember to pull all of these little sections out of here and out of here so that the color shows through from behind it. If you want to go back and ruffle these edges you can certainly do that as well. But I just want to kind of give you the basics of how this works. Alright, so you can go ahead and lift that up. And maybe just with a little bit of piping gel you can attach that to there. So one other thing that you can do to add a little bit more detail to this, now we'll just say that this is still on the cake and attached, but I think you can just see what I'm doing here a little bit better. So with my royal icing, I'm just going to outline a little bit of each of these sections. And that kind of mimics maybe like an embroidered edge, that sort of thing. And it really makes the eyelid cutter pop. So that's a detail that you don't necessarily have to do, but it really kind of makes it pop out at you even a little bit more. But if you'll take a look at all of the eyelet cutters we have on the website, there's a really wide variety. This looks really cute, maybe as a petticoat underneath a dress for like a gum paste figure, um, as I did here with a band around the cake, or even, even as a border. A lot of times I've done something like this and it's like a lace tablecloth overlay and that's really pretty as well for like maybe like a tea party. So really the sky's the limit on your imagination on how to use these cutters. But I think if you'll take a look at them, they're really going to add a nice delicate detail to your cakes. Thanks for watching.